guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will show you how to install MIUI 12.5 on your Xiaomi Redmi 5 Plus. Link to ROM will be in the description. Uh, Yandex disk or the Telegram uh, channel, will, uh, Telegram channel, will, or uh, I was downloading this ROM from, and as well as the link to the developers of developer of this uh, ROM link to his own channel will be and in the description box below as well so let's go and make a quick review i'll show you a quick review of this rom so a couple of things i have noticed at installing it so let's go over to lock screen as you can see here nothing much special but what i have noticed when you connect your you will when you plug into charger there's this new animation which you can all uh, change there a three animation to choose from and they're really cool so if you can go over here and then a lock screen always on display and lock screen and then you can change them so this is on the left side the quick actions on the right side the camera camera works perfectly fine takes all photos so let's take a photo and let's go check the photo as you can see it's here it has this uh, watermark which you can obviously turn off and let me show you how how so let's go to this hamburger menu settings and here we have it device watermark then you just return and uh, after that whenever we make a photo whenever we take a photo whenever we take a photo it does not have this watermark so and as you can see here we have the new control center which is from iOS or uh, designed based on iOS. It's pretty similar, I'm not gonna lie. But if you want to have this old control center without these new, with not the new one, you can go over to notifications and control center, control center style, and you can have the old version and new version. So let's go back. And what I want to show you as well is this cool detail. Whenever you shake or tilt your phone, this storage is as liquid and it's really cool. It looks really cool whenever you shake or tilt your phone. Of course, it has a new voice ch changing animation or volume changing animation. Dark mode is working as well so yeah that was it for the review more features you can explore it by yourself because video would be really long if i would do the full review of the rom so let's go over and jump over to the installation process so in order to install your rom you need to have twrp recovery or orange fox recovery how to install them i will make a video soon if you don't just maybe sit for other videos and or wait for mine now let's go over to reboot to recovery so just Hit on reboot and then uh, hold the volume up button after you see the me logo or splash screen if you have changed it. So let's hold the me logo and you will boot to recovery. In my case, it's Orange Fox. I'm going to have the TWRP recovery as well. So let's go over to wipe and now uh, select. All these partitions that I'm choosing. So, Dalvik system data, internal storage. Select internal storage if you want to remove your downloads and photos. If you want to have them, keep them. If you want to keep them, just do not select this partition. And the ROM will work perfectly fine. But I want to keep my downloads, I want to keep my photos. So, I'll just untick this partition. And now, let's swipe. Okay, now uh, successful wipe completed. It looked like um, what uh, three seconds, four seconds, well three to two seconds. After that, just press the middle button, select our ROM. This is this one. Reboot after installation is complete, and swipe to install. And it would it will take some time, maybe three minutes. It's not that really long process so yeah let's just wait
Okay, so here we are. Uh, I have this prompt here because I did not sign out from my me account in order to not have this prompt. Just sign in from your me account on whatever ROM, a me one ROM you have. Because you'll face this prompt with which you basically need to uh, type in your password. I have this not in English because it shows my language from the SIM card. Uh, but you can change it, of course, uh, in the first in the setup process in this first setup page. So yeah, what we need to do here is just type in the password. Okay, let's go English, United Kingdom, in my case. You can select other languages, there are really lots of them. So I think you can find your own language. So I'll go with English, UK. And now let's just start. And now I'll just set up my phone. Okay, after the setup process, here we are with this old control center which is enabled by default. Uh, and gestures are turned off in order to turn them on you need uh, to go to the additional settings and then turn them on and I'll enable the control center new new control center as well now let's go as you can see it is here it has this uh, cool new reboot menu which I really like so yeah basically Let's go over and turn the gestures as well. So full screen display, full screen gestures. Oh, okay. So I to learn how to know them. Okay, do if you want to hide this indicator like an iPhone, just tap this and not now. And as you can see, now it's hidden. But you have the gestures. But I prefer it to be here. So they perfectly work. Okay, so that was it for this episode. If you have enjoyed it, like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. I really appreciate it. So again, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.